Welcome. Welcome again to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. If it's your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell notification so you can stay on top of Arizona real estate. Real estate. Kudos to Audrey. Her name is Audra. Audra Lambert out of uh, Orange County, California for kind of approaching this topic of where you can find out what the market's doing. And so I thought I'd kind of take the wheel as well and help you locally here in Arizona. Going to give you some tips on where you can find out what's going on in the market that's free and, uh, and a paid solution as well. Inventory moves slowly, but there are indicators that show you the direction of real estate. And it's much better than talking to your barber. Um, I say that my dad was a barber. <laughs> then he was a realtor. Um, it's, it's always nice to have your own information. Somebody says, how's the market? We get asked that all the time. Now, if you're a real estate agent and you're on a large brokerage and they have meetings once a week, then they share the data with you and you know how the market's going. No surprises there. Um, if you don't have a real estate agent to talk to and ask them, then you're trying to figure out what's going on in the market. There's some places I want to show you. One of them is, is uh, go to um, Altos Research here and on his YouTube page, Mike Simonson. Now, he shares national numbers um, every Monday on YouTube. Those videos are out there. And as you can see here, all of his videos in the past, you can take a look at. And this guy's really good. He's really good at sharing data. He does not have an agenda. In other words, he's not showing you data to convince you one way or another where the market's going. He shows you data and says, this is what this means. Here's what we're seeing. Here's what could change that. You see a lot of YouTube videos. We're going to crash 30%. And well, he doesn't do that. He says, here's what we see in this market right now. And here's what could affect the current movement we're looking at today. Now he has some webinars that he does as well that you can sign up for. He, he sells a program uh, to have access to all of his data. I don't re recommend that if you're not a realtor. Uh, why would you want to spend that kind of money? Uh, but for you, uh, just the consumer, whether you're thinking about buying or selling on a national level, you can start to see some of the trends. Now he doesn't avoid talking about Phoenix. So if there's something going on in Phoenix, he will he will touch on that. And the best way to find out about Phoenix real estate, an easy way is to just Google Redfin reports and it'll take you here. You get there, you can go up right here in the corner here where it says, that's not the corner, is it? That's the middle where it says data center or data center. And you can uh, take a look at housing market data right here and you can put in your region. And you can say, I want to be Arizona. And what region do I want to look at? You can say, I want to look at county. And I'm going to look at Maricopa and apply that. And there you go. There's your median sales price. Redfin home price index. You've also got other things that you can look at on this chart. You can take a look at median sales price, home sales, new listings, inventory, active listings, months of supply, days on market, sold above list, sale of list, price per square foot. You can get drunk on this data here. So you can be pretty well versed on what's going on in the Phoenix market, looking overall at Maricopa County. Now you can probably drill down a little bit deeper than that. I didn't dive into it that much, but that's one of the things that you can do. You can also go to the Cromford Report if you are not a realtor. And for $240 a year, if you're so inclined, you have access to all of these data points on what's called the public report. And they're pretty extensive. You can look at a lot of stuff. You can't see what I see because I'm a member of our local MLS. And for me to, sub to subscribe to Cromford, I had to be a member of the MLS to get my password and everything for the Cromford report. And I can't really share. I can share things with you as a client uh, or potential client or um, any of the numbers or any of the charts I can share with you. I can't share it with other real estate agents. 
although I do discuss a lot of that stuff here on the channel. Not sure if I'm violating any policies there, but I do not think so. Um, the other thing you want to know is you want to know the direction of mortgage rates. And the best one that I see, and this is free as well, is Mortgage News Daily. Now, it's got a lot of news, a lot of articles and opinions. Uh, they've got daily newsletter that you can sign up on, and you can actually track track the uh, mortgage rates, today's rates. This is what I like to look at. Remember, it, it's a survey, but it's a gives you a general idea, and it shows you the current mortgage prices on a chart. So again, that's all free. And then you also have housing data here as well. So you can see that as a consumer, if you're considering buying or selling, it's always nice to be armed with information. Now, when you're talking with a realtor, the one thing that you want to understand from them, if you haven't gone and done any research here on your own is, you know, the general statement is, well, what's going on in the market? You don't want to hear things like, well, it's, it's a little slower. You really want some specifics. What's the months of supply, days of supply? That tells you how fast the homes are selling or how slow they're selling. Average is four to six months. Currently, we're at 2.3, but sales are quite dismal right now. Well, how slow is it? The agent should be able to tell you how many homes we're selling on a seven-day average. It's accessible in the MLS. We can pull it up and look at it. They should be able to tell you how homes are selling in your zip code, what the median sales price is, the average days on the market. How long is that home staying on the market? Our average right now is about 64 days, but that doesn't mean it's taking 64 days to sell the home. It means from, from the time it got listed and then went under contract and closed, on average, it's about 64 days, which means probably it took a little over 20 days to get a contract. And that varies by zip code and that varies by price range. So when you're doing your research on considering selling your home, those are the things you really want to be aware of when a realtor sits down with you and you have the conversation about whether or not you're going to list your home with that agent. So you're going to want an agent that's very well vested in those numbers and they're not just pulling them out of the air. So you're going to want some very specific numbers. Like now, if you're looking at buying, Obviously, every buyer on the planet now wants prices to come down. They want them to come down fast. Well, it takes an economic event for that to happen. Um, if we have a uh, really hard and fast recession, that's still not going to lower prices right away. Sellers take their time to start lowering their prices. Right now, I think nationally, 36% of sellers have lowered their prices at one time or another during the course of their listing. Um, that's a little above average. So, but they do it in graduated steps. They don't just go down a hundred thousand and voila, there's your price point you're in. The market has adjusted as a buyer, you can now afford it. It's going to take time to watch that. Affordability takes time to turn around. Now it's true. Our house is shot up like a rocket, but it shot up like a rocket because financing got cheap and inventory became dismal. So you have to see type, what do they call it, uh, tectonic shifts in the market for those types of things to happen quickly. Inventory flying down really fast. I ought to tell you the prices are going to go up really quick. Inventory going up really fast, not dripping in 100 units a week that we're seeing now, but all of a sudden spiking, then all right, hold on to your hats. You're going to start seeing lower prices. Where do you find that? You find that by looking at Altos on Monday by looking at uh, Zillow and seeing what's going on in your market, looking at Redfin and looking at the data center right there and seeing what's going on and understanding where mortgage rates are headed. So all of those things will help you, the consumer, make better decisions. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick, rickhelps.com.